Hello everyone, this is Rob back with another video about the uh, the DJI Mavic Air 2. Uh, as you all know, uh, the Mavic Air 2 got a firmware update uh, last week that added uh, several uh, additions uh, as far as focus tracking is concerned. Um, it performs much better, it identifies uh, objects in the frame that can be tracked now. Um, so you can uh, you know, just tap on them and uh, it'll automatically uh, give you options of whether you want to uh, track it, circle it, um, and you can track it either uh, from the side or, or from behind. Uh, so some of these options over there before they're just enhanced with this new uh, firmware update we got. And, uh, and also the, you know, the app got an update too that improved uh, the fly app as far as how you could um, you know, see some of the um, stats on the screen better. Some of them were in kind of a, a white, weak font where it was hard to see the daylight. So, um, it was said, some several, several enhancements. So, I went out uh, this past weekend, and uh, I think it was Father's Day on Sunday, and I flew down to local bay here in Margate. Le I flew left from the Swift Marina, and it was a couple sailboats out in the bay, which is kind of unusual. So, I flew the mini over to the uh, sailboats, and uh, I tracked them for a while using the focus tracking feature and also I um, did some circling of them, orbiting, orbiting, circling, um, you know, of them too and it, it worked very well, I, I thought. And um, I shot uh, all the video in um, Descent Like and I uh, color graded it in um, Final Cut Pro and, uh, you know, and I, I thought that came out well too. I, I used the uh, the the 16 uh, ND filter on it because it was a bright sunny day. I mean, I flew about 6 p.m. in the evening, but uh, now it's like late until nine, so it was still very late. So I used the 16 ND filter, which you know helped cut down on some of the uh, I mean, the exposure, and also it helped create the uh, the proper motion blur for the boats moving around the water. Uh, because even at the end, I, I, I have all these like jet skis and stuff come from under the bridge. So again, the uh, the 16 ND filter helped maintain uh, the proper motion blur for, for that stuff. So it, it's a short sure clip or whatever. I mean, it's like three minutes or whatever. But I have a lot of action, a lot of boats moving around, so you can you can see the um, you know the tracking, uh, the orbiting, and and then just some of the uh, you know how the uh, the 16 ND filter helps keep the uh, the motion blur proper on everything. Everything. So um, I hope you enjoy it, um, and you have if you haven't downloaded this firmware update, like I'll put the uh, you know the the numbers you need to uh, look for uh, down below. But it's easy; just you know, uh, open up the drone, go to the Fly app, go to the panel on the very uh, right. You know, go down; uh, it'll it'll you know show you what your current firmware update is. I hit a it's a button there, check for updates, you hit the button, you know, for the c controller and the drone, and uh, it'll do the updates for you. If you have any trouble doing the updates through the Fly app, just use the DJI Assistant Go app on, on your computer, and, uh, you know, that'll uh, make sure they're done right. You can even kind of refresh them if you think there was a problem. But, um, but anyway, so it said, I've heard a couple people have had uh, problems with the, the Fly app of the updates. And remember, the DJI Go Assistant is your friend. So um, with no further ado, uh, you know, let's, let's roll the video. And uh, you know, let me know what you thought of it, you know, down below. Uh, you know, whether you like the tracking or if you've downloaded it yet and, and you know, you've had any luck with it. And uh, you know, don't remember, don't forget to hit a thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it, and uh, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and uh, you know, we'll look forward to seeing you at the next video.